G'day, I'm Neil Hopkins, Murrabit resident. I've been living here for 15 years. This is the end of two systems from here to Marabit West and Benjaroo. So the water's all going to get here eventually. We had a meeting at our fire shed in early October, which then led on to a public meeting here in the hall on the 18th of October. We had over 200 people here. It wasn't any great news. They were, knew what was coming, but for the 40 to 50 new residents in the district, it was a real eye opener and it was necessary. We kept a close track of the water. That key group, there, they spent a lot of time patrolling the main channel, which runs towards the west from Marabit and protects the township, and then the levees along the Bar Creek in particular, because if they breach, that floods this way. So once we'd targeted the areas we wanted to work on, local group sandbagging along the main channel. So along there we did something like about three or four kilometres of actual physical sandbagging to protect the levee down there. What really impressed me no end was the amount of young blokes, some came back to the town, gave away work for a week, two weeks and some three weeks, just to work here for that two solid weeks we prepared for the flood. They just did a phenomenal job. The Lions Club coordinated, but we had some local people. We've got a fantastic group, of ladies of Murrabit Arts and Culture Club, and with the coordination of the Lions Club, they put on meals here at the hall, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. For blokes who are out working on the sandbags or on levees, it was taken down on four wheel motorbikes, it was taken down tractors in four wheel drives. Some people had food boated into them. Floods are all different, and they'll all tell you that. While some of the things here were similar, water reach places that didn't go last time because some alterations into a, the main channel out to the west. Uh, there are places that were in, inundated last time that didn't receive water. This time because it was a different time of the year, crop was really heavy. Flood water took a long, long time to arrive here and it didn't come in the rush we thought it would come with here. A couple of properties to the west which had up to five and six feet of water around them. So we're talking this height right around the property, only protected by a ring bank. Now something like 18 major breaches in just a few kilometres, they all to that Marabit West area, so a huge amount of water came out very quickly. If you go out and have a look and take some footage, you'll see there are marks along and you'll see how high the water actually was. Delpka were good, they provided three Rural Water Commission pumps. We've been able to clear the water incredibly quickly, so we're three to four months instead of six months, so we're pretty happy with that. The next part of our recovery of course is to help people whose homes and properties are inundated. Private individuals who weren't impacted came forth and donated large amounts of money to the Lions Club so that we could then pass it on to people who've who's had homes inundated. Some Vinnies in Kundruk and Kareng been amazingly generous with vouchers and food, uh, offers of furniture. But we had a group come from as far away as a little place called Carbor, which is way over near Myrtleford. They brought over food supplies, they got furniture on offer. We had a lovely lady from Melbourne drove all the way up. She accessed 300 sports packages for kids. Um, Cahoon and Neighbourhood House have just been fabulous. They donated thousands of dollars. They also provided the food hampers, cleaning packs. Through them I accessed Christmas presents for every child that was flood impacted and we took them out and delivered those. It's still ongoing, there's still people contacting every day from wide, wide areas, Queensland, New South Wales, all parts of Victoria. Yeah, just so generous. And look, I'd just like to give a real shout out to our whole community. Having gone around, talked to people in recovery, I'm really stunned by how many small groups there were in different areas all around the place who got together and worked hard over a week or two weeks to save someone else's property that we didn't know about. People have just done things here and they're still doing them without any expectation of reward or pat on the back. They say in times of crisis, people have come together and flood here is a long lasting uh, phenomenon. It's not spectacular. So the community has to pull together for a long, long period. Uh, and the community here, I think, has just been phenomenal.